have a serious message I'd like to talk to you about how it actually is going to happen. We're going to have pandemics, we're going to have grid collapses, we're going to have money crash and burn. Those are basically destructions on what is about to happen as a extinction event, close to an extinction event. There will be survivors, but it isn't going to play like you think it is. And you need to know uh, because the people that do know think that it's too creepy and we're worried about panic. It'll be the day after tomorrow. That's how it's going to play. John Moore, others are speaking on that. I'm now, as a physicist, telling you how it's going to play. And why they did the false flags? This is the more insidious parts of what's going on right now because they're talking about pandemics, gold, and oh look children, over here, it's ISIS. Oh wait, children, over here, it's a pandemic. Swine flu, avian bird flu, which I just came up with. They're distracting you on what is about to happen. And really, the geoengineering talked with Dane Wheaton just before I came here. And he concurs that they're using geoengineering to hold back and stall an event that should have happened earlier. And that is the changing of the ocean currents, like John Moore and others are talking about, that are going to be essentially an extinction event for most of men. Just like in the movie, The Day After Tomorrow. You want to watch that movie because that is going to be exactly how it plays. There will be hail that's falling in Asia, killing people because it's so big and the hail falls. And then it will be a city like Los Angeles that has a bunch of superstorms that decimate the entire city. And then the superstorm or supercell will form up in the Arctic and everything down through Texas is killed within two minutes. Just like that. No warning. The are your reason. Your, uh, this is my best guess. This is, doesn't mean it's going to work like this. How do you survive this? You will need in Missouri a minimum of 10 feet between you and the surface because the frost lines are going to go to at least 8 feet. And it will happen at 10 degrees per second. Just like when the guy opened the aircraft to look outside and he was already dead. That quickly. Now, you can survive this. There will be warning. It will be only hours and you need to be somehow deep underground, which is what I'm doing now. I'm like on it before you, I'm your lead scout, I'm telling you how it's going to play. If you go down in that bunker, you're not going to have anything that grows. What will happen is that frost will last for probably two weeks. In the third week, you can probably, once the currents have reset, you can go back to the surface. That's what it looked like tattooing, tattoo where they have the little geodesic cone on the top of the surface and your bunker is underneath. You're going to need seed because everything for eight feet is dead, including seed. And so I'm just telling you as a physicist, I'm not trying to scare you, there will be blood. And there, like the movie, there will also be survivors. I'm the lead physicist for some of the military, so get a grip. I, I'm, I'm not here to try to strike you, I'm trying to forewarn you, because some fat slob, like in the movie 2012, decided it's best for you not to know how you're going to die. And I don't feel that anybody has that right with me. And so I'm going to try to give you as much of the disclosure as I own with my limited pay grade, and then 
offer you some possible directions which may, what we're doing in Oregon, and we're going underground. And the reason I'm, I'm suggesting that now is from a, several different sources, not just that one. NASA has one, the, 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 the weapons of the, the war after next. And they have timetabled it down, and my guess is that geoengineering was trying to stop that event. And the NASA documents are saying 2017 is when the events occur, and that 2020 is when mankind goes back. 12, 21, 12. That's what I think the geoengineering was trying to, is trying to do, is delay something that should have happened. Okay? And just to buy a few extra moments of time, I don't know. August, Cliff High's uh, webbots are suggesting that a bunch of banks are going to fail, uh, and that will be your IRAs and uh, 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 CDs and other kinds of money, and there's going to be a lot of anger, and that's another reason. But why they have all the coffins, and why they have all the bunkers, you know, it's leading me to the Clovis culture and what they experienced. And that's what I'm doing now as a basic physicist, trying to elaborate on how this is all going to play. I'm too old to probably survive, but stay tuned on how I might have a tart. <laughs> Get out of jail card. Of all the movies on disaster from Absolute Zero, 2012, and all the rest of it, pandemic, like the one that Nova put out, some of the others, I believe that the day after tomorrow has more correct physics in terms of the bottom line. And basically, if all of you, none of us, get out of here until each of you end up doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that's the way it works, because that's the collective unconscious of the length, girth, and width of man. And so I'm having to wait for you guys to get your thing together before I can get out of here. I'm stuck. But, 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 I had a fifth plane master choose me for initiation. And when he selected me for initiation, he looked me straight in the eyes. This was Sharon Sen, Satmat. He said at the moment of my death that he personally would be there to take me across the abyss. He said that to me. Darshan. Now that's a fifth plane mystic that said that to me. The best hallucination I've ever been given, you know. And why I have begun training my mind because man does not have rights. He has responsibilities. He has a responsibility for the thoughts he chooses to entertain. Whether they came from outside or they came from neurotic behavior in the way I was birthed, it doesn't matter. You have to draw a line on why you would choose to be paranoid or not. And fear is the little killer that is the first enemy of men. You're, what we have now is an opportunity to change things the way it should be. And the Rothschilds, the young Rothschild was assassinated last year. You know, get a grip. There's things going on you guys don't even understand yet. I would suggest that the 1% of man that rules the earth right now, the king of earth, that kind of thing, that concept, would represent the least hum human aspects of man. And so, personally, I would say our system has been invaded by something. And I, I suggest that would be in the fourth genome blood type. Where did it come from? It's not human. And so the war for Earth, metaphysically, metaphorically, is going on in each side of you. And that's what made you God's favorite, is that you have choice. And part of that is the thoughts you choose to entertain. That's part of God's will. And if you're in conflict with someone else, not to make judgment, there's a purpose for that. And that's God's will. What you have to do is mind your own ship. If you witness, this is my great-grandfather when he said, 
five minutes. Thank you, Grace. If you want to change this world, the war is no longer out there. The war is going on inside. And that if you want to change this earth, you change yourself, and the earth changes with you. And that's how you cheat train the mini-me's, the kids, and how they're going to do it, and how their children are going to do it. By walking your talk. Clear on that? You had someone had another question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. <coughs> so is that how we change the movie? Yeah. You want to know how to change the movie? By living our purpose. Okay, in my new book, yes, yes, and yes, praying at the dinner table restructures everything by intent. And so I have an, a chapter called The Stanford Argument between intent and intentionality. And intent is what happens at the end of the day. And intentionality, missing it by that much. A little Maxwell smart. It didn't quite happen. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. What you actually end up doing whether you do it kicking and screaming and creating karma and anger and cancer because you're angry, or you flow and allow, like Buddha, a mountain to come to you. So we we find our purpose. You find your purpose. Using our find gut. find that there, not up there. Using our gut, and we follow. You follow your passion. There are, in, in, in law, you know, John Lennon, love is all there is. All these different arrows, Philo, Agape, Telema. There's another level of love called bliss. That's what the meditation and saints talk about. And then the Quaker talk about joy. What you would be doing even if you weren't making any money. You follow your joy. That's where the movie starts and ends, right there. And that, you're all that's gone, and nobody has anything. What you have to offer me is your passion. Crowley, Alistair Crowley, called that inflamement, like I'm inflamed. You can feel it. That's like hell. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's your joy. That's what you seek.